What's up everybody, my name is Brian, and you are watching 7 Days to Brian. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of my Gran Turismo 7 playthrough. Uh, today we're going to be doing menu book 3. Let's go see what that is. Menu book 3, Collection, European Classic Compacts. I'd like for you now to collect classic European compact cars. All three cars here were built in Europe in the 1960s, and they're still much loved to this day. Part of their charm is their distinctive interiors, which are totally different to those of high-tech cars of today. Good luck out there. I'll be rooting for you. Alright, so we've got a series of three races here. Let's start with the one that's at Brands Hatch. Alright, so they're not actually requiring me to have a, a European compact car. I have to collect the European compact cars by winning the races. I think I want to try out this uh, Clio RS 220 Trophy 2016 that I won as a prize for uh, getting my National B license. That is a more powerful car than the Japanese compact cars that I had from the first menu book. I'm probably going to beat the pants off of these European compact cars, but we'll see what happens. Alright. I get third place or higher. Way faster than these guys. Luckily, these are quick little races. Sorry. Sorry! Oh yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Hit the brakes. Alright. I think we're good. I think we're good. We're good. Wasn't sure if I was going to make the corner there. grass. Stay out of the dirt. Alright, I'm still good. Obviously, I'm not the best driver out there. Five thousand credits for getting first place. And as a prize is a Volkswagen twelve hundred nineteen sixty six. Look at that thing. Let's check out a little replay action real quick. See, there I am, kicking butt, taking names. I mean, it's not really fair. I, I had a car that was really much faster than the other ones on the track.
would have been a much better challenge if I had had a car similar to the other ones that were there. Alright, this time we're going to race at the Goodwood Motor Circuit. Once again, not going to be quite a fair race because I am using a car that's a lot more powerful than the other ones on the track. I'm trying to have a little more sportsmanship about this race, I'm not ramming into the uh, opponents like I did in the last one. Not that it really matters in a race like this. I'm gonna win either way. more lap. That beautiful sun. I didn't check the time of day when I was starting the race, so I'm not sure if that's sunrise or sunset. Could create quite a glare though. bit of uh, lawn driving there. I'm sure the race officials don't mind, right? Alright, almost done. This is the final stretch coming up. And there's the finish line. Another 5,000 credits for taking first in this race. And I get the Mini Cooper S 1965. I gained a level on my uh, collector level. Alright, so there's one more race to do for this menu book. I'm going to Autodrome. Lago Maggiore. See how we do in this one. Once again, going up against slower cars. Uh, they don't really give you too bad of a challenge in the beginning of the game here. Once we start progressing further into the game, there will be some more challenging races. It's definitely not all like this. I 
think they do some of these easier ones at the beginning to uh, give newer players a chance to get used to the driving mechanics before they have to go into the real challenging races. Take this turn real slow. Pretty sharp corner there. All right. It's not a very big course. Just over a minute for the lap time. Minute four. Right. Oh no. Not the best driver in the world, obviously. But I can live with that. Here's the final stretch. There we go, pretty simple. To first place once again. Collecting another 5,000 credits for the effort. And I've collected the Fiat 500F 1968. So the menu book is complete now. Congratulations, you've got all three cars. This completes your European Classic Compact Collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about these cars. Alright, so I got a one-star roulette ticket as my reward. And access to the high-speed ring in Japan as well as access to the tuning shop. These cars here are some of the most famous in history. A truly wonderful collection. The world's first motor cars were produced around the end of the 19th century. But it wasn't until the 20th century that mass production became the norm. This meant that nearly everyone had access to an automobile, not just the select few. Back then, many small, simple cars were manufactured and priced affordably, so nearly anyone could purchase one. Making this all possible were ingenious engineers and visionaries who created icons such as... The Mini from the UK. the Fiat 500 from Italy, and the Volkswagen Beetle from Germany. These cars certainly left their mark on automotive history. All right, let's go see uh, about getting that roulette ticket. See what we can do here. Round and round she goes. Where she'll stop? Eh, probably a small pile of cash. Yep, called it. 10,000 credits. I will take it. I'm actually starting to get a nice little pile there. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my content in the future, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.